welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Staples Center downtown Los Angeles and the freeways of L.A. All painting the picture just where we are tonight. We are live. It's a Thursday night presentation here on 2K Sports. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Last season with the Pelicans, Brandon Ingram became a star. Often his own toughest critic, Ingram said, My motivation is being the best I can be be perfect but if i do all i can i think i can be close to perfect. kevin he's putting in the work to get as close as he can back to you he is da thank you greg we've got two terrific highlighting teams both athletic in so many ways you know it makes me park it all the way back to college and one of my teammates stacy aug and one of the greatest athletes i ever played alongside well we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Zion is the four with Favors at the go. five. Lonzo Ball out there with Hart and Ingram in at the three slot. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Deion Waiters is out there with lights out and it's Howard in at five roaming the paint. Now here's Favors. Here's Ingram. And it's sent back by Howard. And they're able to cover. Here's Los Angeles now. Their last meeting was in New Orleans where they were unable to fight off the Pelicans. Their last time against the club, they really fell short at the free throw line. Here's Hart. Kicks to Ingram. Shoots from 12. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Here's Olsen. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. They are still commanding a lot of defensive attention. Howard just keeps his head up and finds the open man. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. The Pelicans have gone one of three for the field of this one so far. Outside ball. Outside favors. Back to ball. And a miss there on the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. James finds Howard. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. I mean, physical defense, but Howard is too strong. Pelicans still look like they're getting going. It's a five-point game. Ball with it. He's picked up by James. Ball good. The Lakers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Pass to Howard. Lakers working the ball around now. Davis down low. He's covered by Ingram. Waiters for three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. And they brought the energy. I thought played well, but really put on a great show. Unfortunately, someone had to lose. Nothing to hang their heads over. When you have two match teams on a given night, it's anyone's ball game. Ball with it. Now guarded by Olsen. It's stolen by us. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. And he comes up with the deuce. Oh, great ball movement there. They're having trouble stopping this run. And the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. Now here's Ingram. More point in their last game against Houston. And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. And, and it's easy to see just how dangerous Ingram is in the pick and roll. His size, the long arm, arm speed ability. The D has no clue as to what to do. This team is rolling right now. Still haven't missed a shot. 
Here's Favors. Williamson trying to free himself up. And he's led the league in block shots on multiple occasions, and Howard's still a presence down low. Outside, ball. To the middle. And the dunk by Williamson. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. My concern right now is getting the points on the board, and I, I don't mean style points. Now there is Davis coming off a solid outing against Phoenix. Barry, the long range jumper. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. The drive by ball goes up and lays it nice and easy. Well trained in blocking out distractions. Ball doesn't let a little contact affect the shot. Greg Hart, think of a player in this league with more of a pass-first mentality than Lonzo Ball. I mean, total unselfishness, elite vision. Sometimes you'd like to see him create a little more in the half court, but he's improving from range, and that will open up driving lanes, and he can take advantage. Floats one up, and that's two points on the layup. Ball's got his second bucket of the night. You don't need to get all the way to the rim if you have the floater game. Ball showing the versatility. Run right side over Ingram. And too long on the shot. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Hart, no good. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by seven. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. Really consistent with their aggression. In that game, we saw very few lulls from an intensity standpoint. A couple things stood out for me. They were relentless, and they also played under control. That's a deadly combination. Here's Hart following the basket by Dwight Howard. And that one's good, Ingram. Brandon Ingram possesses grace and power to clip for a big finish. Los Angeles leading by seven. James left side. And there's another one for the Lakers. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. New Orleans has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Ball with it. He's picked up by James. Good on the bucket. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 2 from three point first quarter. Olsen passes to James. Inside. Kicks it to Howard. Loads it up for Davis. Derek Favors with the rebound. Pelicans trail by seven. Now Williamson. 23 points for him the last game against Houston. And Williamson's parents, college athletes themselves, were a guiding force in helping him grow his game. When you're talking about growing his game, Greg, at an early age, Zion told his mom he wanted to be the number one player in college basketball. As a five-year-old, he played on an AU team for nine-year-olds. By age nine, he was waking up for 5 a.m. workouts. That's the kind of commitment it takes to see even that early. Completely in rhythm that Ryan working off the catch and shoot. Ball kicks to Ingram. Great tee that time from Davis. Lakers leading by nine. Now the pass to Olsen. Takes the three. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got four assists now tonight. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Who are your favorite players to watch in the NBA? Boy, that, that's a tough one. You, you know, you, you got to like the guys that are, have changed the game in some regards, right? Steph, KD, and Giannis. Uh, those are three guys that are just doing things that seem normal true uh then others who remind you uh, of past greatness you know jason tatum with kobe or maybe an anthony davis with the team and those are guys that i love and and then I, the other guy listen lebron james i could watch him play basketball every day you, you know to do what he's done at this stage of his career I, I just think it's incredible and i think our game is in great shape agree on all counts
Hayes, bounce pass for three. Ingram, the Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got his fourth rebound with that last one tonight. Passes it to Olsen. On the wing, James. Pelicans with the rebound. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got it back down to single digits for the Pelicans. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. And it's McGee with the jam. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this team. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Now here's Ingram. He has six. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. And he makes that one. And it's a 12 Lakers lead. And how about that? Transition opportunity for Anthony Davis. Has the long strides to eat up ground in a hurry. Now here's 11 point game is last outing. Ooh, the defense gets away with the rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. And it's Davis finishing it off. You will find a much better alley you partner. AD flying to the rim. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. And Davis sends it back. What's crazy about AD as a blocker, he can block your shot at all three levels. Way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now, here's Ball. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging half the game. More outside. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Hayes. He's guarded by Davis. And again, no good by New Orleans. And, and already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now they need a basket. What each one more lacks in size, he makes up for in smarts. Good read, good finish. Now here is McGee. Ten points in the win against Phoenix. Green, the pass to James. Sinks that one from the post. LeBron's got 13 points. Now eight of their last ten coming off assists. Outside, ball. Ingram up top. He's guarded by Davis. Ball dishes to Hayes. Back to Ball. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult for he's had. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. So reliable. They really leaned on him at the offensive end. Pelicans trail by 19. More to look for. Ingram with it. Ingram's gone three of eight, shooting from the floor. Olsen passes to Green. Basket counts. And the Lakers lead by 21. Nice look for Danny Green there, taking charge. You love the leadership. He's out everywhere he's gone. Here's Okafor. Down low. Shot to stop the run. A shot. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. And James throws it down. Crazy to think about how many seasons LeBron's played and how many nights we've seen him this. Ingram kicks the ball. McGee against Coca the officials are all over that one. Pelican shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That free throw, no good. Big groups.
so for New Orleans right now. Ingram the three and Zion the four. Then there's Hayes, and it's Alexander Walker in at the one spot. Here's Ingram. Great D that time from LeBron. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the can just as effective as blocking it, even though it's spectacular. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Guys, lights out in their last game against the Suns was a driven man. He picked up 26 points and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. It'll be interesting to see, Greg, how much of that performance carries over to tonight. And, Kevin, different scenarios call for measures. I'm sure he'll just try to provide whatever they need for the win. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you see, he just wants to come away with the W. Steve, one thing I always think of when I watch LeBron, how much fun it must be to be a teammate of him. You know, Kevin, I wish I could have played with a guy like LeBron James. You get so many open looks and easy finishes with him on the court. One of the easiest superstars to play with, bar none. Williamson, the pass to Alexander Walker. And Davis sends it back. Here's lights out. 26 points for him last game against Phoenix. Some of the passes he threaded through the defense are just incredible. He made it look so easy. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Shots good by Alexander Walker. Nice to see Williamson spot the open man. He has awareness and ability as a passer. And he wanted anybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we felt it. <laughs> Even over here, we felt it. The Pelicans have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. Alexander Walker passes to Hayes. Ingram against LeBron. Pass to Alexander Walker. Just five to shoot. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. That's their third straight make off an assist. New Orleans has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. James against Ingram. There's the pass to Hart. Over Green. Hart, no good. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. And they've been enjoying this long homestand. That will be game four of five in a row at home. For Los Angeles, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And, and on the season, you know, they're about 76%, which is a decent rate. Balls checked in for the Pelicans. This is to hate. Now the dish to Ingram. Shoots from the high post, and James pulls it down. James has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Knocks it loose. McGee inside. Working on Williamson from deep green. Alexander Walker. Well for New Orleans, shooting 47% in the second quarter. Three-pointer. The shot off that time, and the Lakers take it away. Olsen passes to James. Here's lights out. He's cut by ball. Davis kicks to James. And that one falls coming up of Davis's feed. Davis has got assist number eight now on the night. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to standstill. Ball finds Hayes. Now here's Ingram. Wilson outside. That's one. And it's good for two. 
Ingram's got eight points. Wiry guy with great body control. Ingram can adjust in the face of good defense. Olsen passes to LeBron. 152 left in the second quarter. McGee trying to break free. The King timeless saying, I'm going to keep doing what I do until they catch up with me. New Orleans has gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Pass to Hayes. He kicks to Ingram. Pass to Alexander Walker. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Alexander Walker's got his second bucket. Don't sleep on Ingram as a facilitator. Has the size to see over defenders and make sound decisions. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Here's Ingram after the made shot from Olsen. Shot from the wing. That's short off the rim. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Ball after the basket by the Lakers. Ingram outside. And there's the pass to Alexander Walker. Deep two from Ball. Rebounded by the Lakers. McGee's got six rebounds now in the game. Olsen passes to Davis. Shoots over Ingram. Another basket for the Lakers. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. Point I wouldn't expect them to. Ball against Green. Pass to Williamson. Great D that time from Davis. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a huge 37-point lead to end the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Alongside Coach Alvin Gentry. Alvin, what sorts of adjustments are you going to make in the second half? Well, we just got to get ourselves organized. We got to get back. We got to take better shots. We're taking bad shots and they're running out on them. We just got to take good shots and we got to get back. Best defense is offensive efficiency. Thanks, Coach. Back to Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. There wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by James. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Lights out out there with Deion. And it's Howard in at the center position. And stolen by James. Here's Davis. And that one, good. Davis has got 10. Nice body control. I like that Davis kept his composure after taking the hit. Well for New Orleans, shooting a decent 44% clip here. About one minute to play second half. LeBron against Ingram. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Waiters passes to Olsen. Favors brings the double. Pass to Howard. And 
it's slammed in by Howard. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they delay all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. And the Pelicans with possession. Following the bucket by the Lakers. And it's sent back by Howard. Back to Favors. And Derek Favors with the slam. This is why Lonzo Ball was drafted number two overall. Elite vision and size. Olsen, again the Lakers. They could a better start to this half offensively. Four straight and counting. Here's Ball. Crystal blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Strong move by Lonzo. He has the size to take the contact and complete the play. Okafor is checked in for Zion Williamson. Your son, Cole Craig, was one of the top high school players in America. A lot of services had him number one. Talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. You know, it was, it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the teams we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top nine. So that process, about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to get off the couch. Well, you're a dad and a proud one at that. Credit to LeBron. Leave even one guy open, he'll find him. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Favors. Kicks it to Ball. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. White Howard. This is what you want to see more of from Lonzo being more aggressive with his own offense and drawing fouls. Markeith Morris has checked in. And the Pelicans also making a change. Morris checked in for Hart. The pass to Howard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Howard living on all about knocking him down. Good on the second free throw. More with it. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Outside ball. Wide open look. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Ball's got five points now this quarter. Lakers have gone as spotless. Six of six in the field since taking the court here in the second half. They get it back. Here's Howard, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And you really have to toe that line with the physicality just to prevent Howard from the end one. And some changes here for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron, and it's Caldwell Pope in for Deion Waiters. And New Orleans also making a change. Nelly's checked in. And there are a number of things that make Ingram a dominant force. So what really jumps out at you, the moment you see him, the limp. Few wings in league history have had a 7-3 wingspan. And he can time his pass so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Ball kicks to Ingram. It doesn't go for him. And the Lakers take it the other way. You like that he's still attacking. But the results tonight just haven't been there. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in the second half. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. And then Okafor slams it in. The vision Lonzo has is special, finding his teammates in their spots over and over again. And, Greg, you combine Ingram's length with his emerging skill set. He has got a long career ahead of him in the NBA. I mean, he certainly has the tools. What we need to see now is the consistency year in and year out. It's one thing to reach that star status. It's another to become one of the true suitors in our league. Here ball after the basket by Los Angeles. There's the feed to Okafor. 
five on the clock. Second chance shot. Another one falls for New Orleans. As you want, orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Here's Olsen. Crystal blows. Basket is good. So a chair for a three-point play. And that keeps him perfect from the field quarter. The Lakers have shot the ball pretty well from the line, going 8 of 11. And here are the Pelicans now. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Launches it. And again, New Orleans with the triple. With slightly wise mechanics, Lonzo has become a more consistent threat from downtown. Howard can't hit. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. And it's Ingram missing. Moore against Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Olsen. The outside leaner. Los Angeles keeps it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession. Except for the result. Ingram with it. Picked up by Kuzma. Looking to end his cold spell. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle's chance at the line. What's up? One fifty-six left here in the fourth quarter. Los Angeles has gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. So for New Orleans right now, we've got Lonzo Ball. Jaleel Okafor is out there with favors. Then there's Williamson. And it's Hayes in at the five. Now, here's Ball. Pass to favors. Get six. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Lakers. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win. hard to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. Definitely never changed the they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so all the hard work here tonight converted into a tally in the win column. It'll be number 26 on the year. And with this win now, we're all square, one and one. Two more games yet to come in what's proving to be a very competitive season series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Lights Out. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive, he was efficient, and the defense had no answer. No good from Olsen. Here are the Pelicans with the ball, and it's Miller in the corner. Outside Jackson. Outside ball. Miller outside. Pelicans keep it alive. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. No good from Olsen. And so it's New Orleans with it. Outside Jackson. Miller outside. Williams in the post. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. They came going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you later.